What's up? It's your self-proclaimed cinema showgun here. And as I was sitting down for a nice Starbucks coffee this morning with my lovely assistant, Piglet, I came across this very interesting story. And when I say interesting, when I read this story, it sent chills down my spine. And it's the story of a 35-year-old tennis star named Pang Shuao from China who has recently gone missing after accusing a high-ranking official in China of S.A. Now, I know you might wonder, what is S.A.? It's just try to fill in the blanks here. I can't necessarily say those words on YouTube, but S.A., you know, fill in the blanks. But anyway, she accused this man of S.A. and then had her social media posts deleted and then had her social medias deleted and then just went totally missing off of the face of the earth. And it's scary because for one, it reminds me of where we're going in this country with the censorship and how you can't say anything, how I can't even say the words S.A. without my video being taken down and how me even talking about this topic, my video will probably be suppressed. But she accused this man of S.A. And then the post in which she accused him was taken down, social media was deleted, and now no one can find her. And like I said, she's actually a tennis star. This isn't even a, I don't want to say a regular person, but this is someone who's famous, okay? One of the best tennis players in the world. And she has just gone missing off of the face of the earth after accusing this man. And it seems like no one in the tennis world really wants to speak up about it. You know, all these famous tennis players, none of them are using their platforms really to speak up about it, except for Naomi Osaka. And sorry if I get some of these names, you know, a little wrong. She recently spoke up about it, but it, as far as anyone else goes, no one is talking about it. And as I'm looking into it, it just, like I said, it freaks me out knowing that the world's not even a safe place to come out with these type of accusations, to come out and tell the truth about things that happen to you. You know, from what she said, this was something that happened to her not only when she was younger, but it's like a reoccurring thing and something that also recently happened as well. So most of her social media posts, like I said, all of them have been deleted, but some of them were captured and screenshotted, but none of them are in English. So what I'm doing right now is I'm trying to find the English translation to a lot of her posts that were deleted, and I'm going to bring them to you all in future videos. But for right now, I just wanted to alert y'all about the situation that's going on because this woman has been missing since November 2nd. Literally the day that she came out with these accusations, like I already told y'all, not only was like her whole existence scrubbed off the internet in China, but she just totally went missing. And no one has any idea where she's at and no one has heard from her since. No one has a clue. I mean, although I, it's not too hard to put two and two together as to probably what happened to this woman. And it's crazy knowing the fact that there's these big, you know, big organizations, big companies, if you will, like the tennis, I don't know exactly what the international tennis companies called, you know, like NBA, NFL, these big organizations, you know, they don't even care about what happens in China. Like if something happens in China, they're not going to say anything about it because they have big markets in China. So that's why the NBA doesn't want to talk about anything that's going on in China. LeBron James doesn't want to mention anything that's going on in China because his shoes are being made in China. So, I highly doubt that the Tennis Association, whatever their name may be, I need to look into all that. Like I said, I'm no tennis expert here. But they haven't even come forward to say anything about it. In fact, this story is pretty much kept on the hush so far. And I'm surprised that it hasn't gained more traction. So that's why I wanted to highlight it on my channel to bring more attention to this because if it could happen to a tennis star, you know, what do you think's happened to people who are lesser known? What do you think are happening to the people in that country who aren't as, you know, as popular, aren't as known worldwide? You will never hear their stories. 
And these people are so powerful that they can literally snap of a finger, this tennis star is just gone. Someone that's known around the world, gone, because she came forward with these allegations. And if you want me to be totally honest with you guys, knowing how things go over there, I don't think this is going to end up well. I'm actually really scared for this, not only this woman's life, but her family's lives as well. You know, like I said, the CCP, their outreach is very long. They're very powerful. And it's surprising that she even came forward in the, in the first place. You know, it's not surprising to me that she went missing after coming forward because over there, you don't get to say much. And that's where this country is going as well. Give it another 10 years, maybe even less. But for now, I'm probably going to spend the rest of my day researching into this topic and I'm going to bring you more information about it. And if you all have more information, feel free to share it with me as well. But while you're here, drop your opinions about this down in the comments below. While you're down there, hit that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell, go to the description of this video and we'll have a link to my cash up if you would like to support the channel. I will also have a link to my other channel, go subscribe over there, and a link to my Twitter, and you can follow me on there. But as always, find some time out of your day to go pet your dog. All right.